Hello, this is Randy with Vicinity, and I'm uh, taking a couple of minutes to walk through some of the real high-level features of Vicinity 4, specifically the batch entry screen. As most of you are aware, we're in the middle of a development process where we'll be replacing all the version 2 screens with version 4 screens. Batch entry is the first one that we're working on. By Focus, which is our user conference in May, we're expecting to have batch entry quality components and formulas available for your use. Um, batch entry is almost complete at this point, and we'll start our testing process while we start the quality screen. So just as a high-level overview, one of the first things you'll notice about the Vicinity 4 user interface is this ribbon bar. That is consistent with Microsoft's direction of Office. So whether it be Outlook, Word, Excel, or any of the other uh, products you might use in, in Office, this is the look and feel that you're going to be experiencing. Um, additionally, we've uh, gone more toward a drop-down approach rather than the tabs uh, for additional data. This is going to allow us the ability to take this same screen to a browser-based screen, in other words, um, via Internet Explorer, and be able to run it uh, from any browser. And that's coming um, in, in, in this um, incarnation of the product. Uh, specifically, the general tab is where the dates are stored, but it's also where you release a, a, a planned batch uh, to firm and then ops close it. Uh, the drop down uh, for end items will allow you to enter uh, any uh, finished good that's being manufactured uh, through this process. Um, the procedure tab has the machines, that's what I'm seeing here, the different unit procedures, and then the operations, these are operations within a machine, and then of course down to the phases, uh, ingredients, instructions, byproducts, co-products, things like that. Uh, we also are able to access uh, the quality data if, uh, if you'd like to from here. Let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like. Let me go ahead and re-inquire the same batch ticket. Um, there it is, and we'll just pick him up. And then from there, you can see all the quality data is listed here. Uh, you could actually enter QC test results from the batch entry screen if you would like to. We'll also give the ability to block that out so you can't enter transactions if that's going to be a problem for your industry. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a, a batch ticket that's actually had transactions posted against it. And from here, now you'll see in version 4 is the ability to inquire and be able to see information about posted transactions for this batch. And then finally, we've got our totals. Uh, we'll be adding a good bit to this as well. Um, but um, the basically, uh, the total quantity put into process, gotten out, the yields, etc. So uh, in a nutshell, that's um, a version 4, a very high-level overview. Send somebody to focus in May, and we will be going through these screens in detail, in effect providing training, going through how you can navigate, how you can migrate from version 2 to 4, and we'll be giving you all that information. So a wonderful way to do that is to spend a couple of days with us in Atlanta in the spring, and uh, we'd, we'd love to go through this with you and, and see you and get your feedback. I think that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.